A curious crest is engraved here in this. Well, well, welcome back to Jungle 972 plays Chrono Trigger Definitive Edition on PC, and yes, we are here in the future. No cities, just barren, just barren, desolate worlds. This is Trandome. You know what? It may have been famous by the great Dr. Tran. Got any cash? This stuff real? I never seen it before. Oh, well, that's some good stuff for you. Oh, cool. Hydro Blaster. Oh, you do got some good stuffs. Yes, indeed. Gonna need a few of these. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. You know what? Well, man, I might as well sell a few things. No, it doesn't make a little bit of cash back. Keep our shelters. Time to equip. And yeah, when we last left off, though, we were being uh, pursued by royalty. Uh, we are now officially um, fugitives in the year 1000. God, I wonder if that, I wonder if that'll ever go on your record if you go, like, go, go across space and time. If I just keep saving my money someday, I'll come in handy. That's what I tell myself anyway. You know what? It's a good way to say it, too. Use some food at Aristone to the northeast if you can get through uh, Site 16 alive. The specters that haunt the place can't be harmed by weapons or guns or blades. Of course they can't. Truce? I've heard of a dome with that name. This is a Tran Dome. Kingdom Chancellor? Has hunger driven you mad? <laughs> if you're looking for food, you won't find it here. This is an Inertron. You'll get a full night's sleep in a few seconds, but it won't do a thing for your hunger. Yes, I will rest in the Inertron. But you're still as hungry before. Yeah, they kept the attacks from the uh, D, uh, DS version as this one too, if I, if I remember correctly. On the Super Nintendo and the Super Famicom, it's like, but you're still hungry. This is called Banger Dome, like Banger Maine, in the state of Maine. Let's make our way to Site 16. God, I love this tune. And uh, of course, don't touch the rats. Like in the wrestling business, never ever touch the rats. By the way, and uh, that, you know, for the longest time though, on the, that little plant thing on the right though, I didn't think it was actually a plant. I actually thought it was like somebody just holding, holding their arms up. Of course, I got this little, oct this little octopi over here. Here we go, take care of these. Taken care of. So yeah, don't touch the rats. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And we learn or or wool. Ah, really? What's that? Oh yeah. All right. What do we got here? Oh, a silver sword. Didn't have to spend any money. Though probably would have been uh, coming handy if I would have bought it sooner. Hindsight's 2020. Then again, I've played this game so many times, so it's just... Uh, I always seem to forget that sometimes. My silver bow. Yep. Yeah, not as anything like that. And you stole a potion, you little shit-ass. Mm -hmm. More of these. Oh yeah, we got ghosts here too. Yeah, they've only got one HP though, but the cool part is, you, you can only beat them with magic. So, let's hit them like this. As long as they're the, the feature of magic, then you can damage them. And you know, it's a lot of damage for only having one HP. So yeah. Oh yeah, we got these mutants here too. Fighting one of these actually is a good idea. It may seem like a bad idea though, but you know, it's always good to see you know where your metal is early in this part of the game. 
fire world. What do you got? I only got 300 hit points though, so... And... Oh yeah, and there's that. Just draining your HP right out of you. Wasn't much. Thankfully. And thankfully that wasn't a lot either, so... Okay, took care of a... Took care of business there. And there's another one. Make it two. <laughs> I love those eyes that they have too. I love those eyes that they have though, man, but sometimes you just want to see them sleep too because they look adorable. But goddamn, they're annoying. Okay. Right. Okay, apparently I was already at full HP whenever I got out. Aristome. Boom, boom. Yeah, I was watching Game Grumps a, a little while back though, and I was watching them uh, do a playthrough with this. <laughs> it was hilarious. That Danny heavy crack up with the, with the old man. You're there, have you, where have you come from? <laughs> Let's have the roots to the west. What did you say? Hey, we got people who cross the ruins! Are you serious? Well, there are people strong enough to fight those mutants. Yeah, in this uh, desolate future. Daddy's gonna come back with some food soon. That's my food. We haven't seen him since. And you probably won't, sweetie. Something odd about you. Did you really come from the dome in the west? Uh, yeah. Alright. Not that it really matters. Well, gee. Show us how much faith you have in us. You plan to go below? Uh, of course. We've made many attempts ourselves, but they've always met with failure. There's no way of doing it unless you try, right? Hmm. It's nice to see some young spirited people for a change. What's that? No, you're good. It's just Corey is sending me video things on you. Oh, yeah. Alpha, then, come back alive. Door with the crest, push it. Yeah, thing won't budge. No, it didn't, it didn't work that way. Let's see what the young lady has for sale. Sure, this stuff's money? Oh, here's a guy. I think we're good here. You know, one more shelter wouldn't hurt. Yeah, we're stocked good. Some dead will come in. That's what the guy who left across the road used to say. Well, you'll be happy to know that he's very much alive and well. Beyond the ruins. Yes, we are beyond the ruins here. We are in... We need a password to get through, of course. Now, I wonder what we have to press, you know, especially when it's a... when I'm using a, a controller. On the PC version. It appears to be a decorative... No, no, it's not. Anyone who approaches the food stocks is subject to attack. Okay. I guess we're gonna face off against the robot guards, as Danny would say. Alright, here we go. Boom! Initiating combat sequence. What's that? Yeah, smash thing. Yeah, this guy is always fun to play against. Yeah, gotta take out these little uh, bits over here. One thing I, I wish they would have done though was actually uh, fix the uh, the notation on it because when you hit left though, and it goes to the right. When you try to fight, uh, who you're gonna fight? I was like, I hate, I hate shit like that. You know, I don't want to say it's the little things, though, but you know, in this case, the little things do matter, especially you know, when you want to make a really good, uh, a really good, you know, port of an RPG. I mean, it gets kind of sticks to it, though, but. There we go. Initiating countdown. Oh, he's like a new age mother. He's like, I'm good. Like, Steven, five, four, three. Two, Steven, five, 
before, you know, right before, you know, they get their ass kicked, man. If that was me as a kid, my mom would have just smacked the shit out of me. I don't see why this machine has to actually do a countdown and kick my ass. I mean, it's still counting down. I mean, it's vulnerability. You gotta do it. The pods have been revived. You know what? I can't put the pot of positivity, motherfucker. And the pot of positivity is gonna whip your mechanical ass, boy. I did it in another timeline, too, so. A few years ago. Stay alive, dude. Stay alive. Alright. Come on, come on, come on. This one's down. Down to recover. Mid potion. Luca. Alrighty. And then start. I'm gonna squeeze in a turn there. Okay, Chrono. And I probably should have done that. Eh, triple counter attack. Delta attack. Oh, I love the way that looks. It looks much better on this version than the uh, uh, Super Nintendo and Super Famicom version. And the DS version. And the cell phone ports? We don't talk about cell phone port games. Although, I will say, though, Call, Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG Online is actually pretty addictive. Now, I got my first chicken dinner uh, sometime, sometime ago whenever I played uh, PUBG Online on um, my cell phone. Or I just say, through mobile! Stay alive, you idiot. Come on, stay alive, you redheaded idiot. Yeah, this gets repetitive, it really does. Say hello to my amplifier. Alright, here we go. Let's finish him off. Oh yeah! That's good of it. Four. He is definitely not friend bot. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Breakdown! What do we got here? 300 experience points, 5 tech points, and 1,000. That's like 10 bucks. <laughs> yep, and uh, there's your dead husband. Yeah, something rakes. Mm. Everything's completely rotten. The refrigeration system must have failed. Look! He's not breathing. Must have died from the robot guards. That's what happened. They pummeled his face and he crawled in. No thanks to the robot guards. Looks like some kind of seed. A seed. Could even grow in a place like this? You know what? Oh, the mini theory says it probably could. But you know what? It just takes... I know it's written in a solid scrap of paper. God, I hope that's not his poop. Yes, it knows the secret of the statue. Well, let's go catch the rat. Something I thought I'd never say. Shh. I run away. Of course, I had to catch him. I'm gonna get you. Gotcha. Press A, Y, and B to activate the switch once you hear the sound. That again? So, in this case, it would be X, circle, and. Triangle, actually. Yeah, because, you know, this one uses a, a Xbox controls, really. It's mapped out like an Xbox controller. Well, I'm waiting on you. I <laughs> like how it runs off right out, out of the screen. Hold on.
damn it. Heard it the when you were able to hit all three buttons at the same time because in the original you had to uh, L, you had to put L, R, and uh, the OK button. Attack and protective motion. Yeah. I think a little bit of uh, a little bit of the possessive side too. They just go right after whatever moves. I try to hoard mid ethers up because I, the mid ethers up because I try to sell them, you know, early on. Though because when you get cash on here, it comes in handy. All right. Oh, and another bug. Okay. Oh yeah. All righty. Oh wow! Look at the sound of that. I like to see if they have made these a little bit more difficult. About the right level too. Just means about the right level. Okay, those things weren't much of a challenge. Yeah, sometimes finding those things could be not worth it. I think we'll just skip forward. Let's see what's going on over here. This must be the supercomputer. Hmm, still operational. If we're in search of the temp temporal distortions, we may just find our gate. Got it. East of here. Okay. Wow, they disabled the music on here. Well, the, the sound effect. There's what we're looking at. There, Protodome. Leave it to Luca. Who would have thought this machine could have done it? Tell us something like that. Say, so, hey, what does this button do? No, no, don't press it! 1999 AD, visual record, the day of Lavos. Okay. Well, they. It still works, I guess. Oh, wow, they gotta change that up a little bit. Look at that. The day of the world ended. You know, you know what's funny though? Lavos is not the only uh, villain who destroyed the world. Yes, it was. But here's the thing though, Lavos is a parasite. Kefka was just a, an awful human being. Yes, it is, Nadia. We are in the future. Change history. Mm -hmm. Looks like we must change history, too. Guess so. Unfortunately, we've got Gaze that will let us do time. <laughs> Don't mind her. Yes, let's do it. Cats are kind of misbehaving right now, too. So here's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to cut it off right now, though, but I will return, and we're going to finish up this arc in the future. So we will see you later. Much love, peace, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace!